Hello everyone and a very, very good afternoon and welcome to our spring concert here on Home Choir. We've had a really busy few months, not just here on the channel, but of course many of you know I have been uh, dashing around here, there and everywhere like the uh, proverbial smoothing iron disappearing off to various far-flung places to conduct wonderful singers, whether it was to Salisbury, uh, whether it was around to Edinburgh, Dublin, Norwich. I mean, goodness me, it has been a really, really busy few months. And so this is our last live stream for a few days, except it isn't because we have the Sing for Happiness tonight only for Home Choir subscribers, that is those who are subscribed to the newsletter. You will have your link already and to members of that lovely St George's Sing for Happiness project. But this is our last public live stream until April the 8th, where we shall come roaring back with some more fabulous music. We've got a brilliant programme lined up for the rest of the academic year. But uh, before that, we've got the small matter of celebrating some of the wonderful music that we have learnt together since January. So just let me check that everything's working. Some of you will know I had a rather catastrophic software failure yesterday. It always happens just when you need technology to work for you. It decides to uh, not work for you. So I'm going to just check we can all hear these various pieces. We've got Come Merry Lads by Henry Yule. Come Sweet Ellis by King John IV of Portugal. Vias to us. Out from the Deep by Talis. Handles the Merciful Goodness. And a couple of movements from Vivaldi Gloria as well. Excellent. And we also have that lovely Trade Winds piece as sung by Liz. I can feel it already getting stuck in my head. Such a catchy tune, Liz. Thanks again for sending it in. So I think we've got everything working. People saying we're all sounding good. Thank you, Fiona, and to everyone else. Uh, Angel stood by you, Ben, as we share. Thank you, Alison. Um, so people are asking about Sing for Happiness. First thing to say is you don't have to rush. They, the sessions are not connected, at least not until the fifth one, which isn't until June. So they work very nicely as standalone rehearsals. They are revising pieces that are taught at the St. George's Hall here in Bristol as part of the Sing for Happiness project. Tonight we're looking at two pieces as taught by some good friends of mine, uh, the conductors Dan and Veronica, and they taught the assembled crowd of 400 people on Saturday. Two pieces, one's called Walking on Sunshine, and the other one is called Chasing Cars by a band called Snow Patrol, all taught in harmony. I shall teach every single note of every single part tonight at 7pm and of course it will be there for you to catch up but only if you are subscribed to the newsletter as we are not making this public because it is a closed study. With that in mind if you'd like to take part in the academic study as well that all the information is in the newsletter and please do consider doing so because it really does have a huge amount of uh, well polish to Home Choir's uh, trophy cabinet, if you will, to be involved in an actual academic study into the effects of singing on one's mood, particularly, hopefully, increasing your happiness. Now, uh, now I know the technology is working. I'm feeling happy. I hope you are out there as well. And I'd like to start by welcoming everyone who's watching this later on. Thank you for watching. Do consider a thumbs up and do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so. We passed a very, very satisfying milestone just a couple of days ago. Four, four, four four subscribers. It was lovely and I enjoyed it for a full two minutes before somebody subscribed and made it 4445 and as time of this stream is going out it's now 4452 so we are acquiring new subscribers at a nice rate but why don't we join us? It is free, it's just a click of that red button down there and you can join the growing throng. And hello to everyone who's watching live but isn't in the live chat and in particular to Helene and Bill and Val, hello Sue and Tony and Sally and Annie and Maureen and Harry and June, hello to Anne and Linda and Charlotte and Nikki and Val and Huyen and Katie and then hello everyone over here hope you're having a good day I think the home choir effect is a bit optimistic today as it has just started pelting with rain here but you never know 
You never know. So who's here this fine afternoon? I say fine. Hello, Alison. Hello, Dave. Hello, Jill. Hello, Diane. Hello, Dorothy. Hello, Eileen. Hello, Liz. Hello, Emma. Hello, Fiona. Hello, Gaynor. Hello, Glennis. Hello, Gloria. Hello to Chris, who's just popped up. Hello, Eileen. Hello, Epi. Hello, Jackie. Hello, Janet. Hello, Jen. Hello, Jill. Hello, Jill. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Linda. Hello, Marie. Hello, Michael. Hello, Mike. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Susanna. Hello, Suzanne. Hello, Terry. Hello to all of you. Listen to that. I don't know if you can hear it. It is absolutely hammering down outside. Well, let's see what we can do about that with the home choir effect. Now, I've got some new buttons down here, which I'm looking forward to pressing shortly. And one of them is I've brought back the home choir chord in F major. Okay, it's been in the cupboard for a while. So sing any of these notes to the word home choir and we shall start our afternoon together. Here we go. Nice deep breath. And... Uh, something so warm and wholesome about F major and that beautiful chord tells us it is time for us to start our broadcast. Thank you so much everyone for joining us today for a very special roundup performance of just some of the pieces that we have learned since the beginning of the new year. We will start very shortly with a bright madrigal by Henry Yule in a special arrangement just for home choir called Come Merry Lads. It's full of all sorts of madrigalian cliches and tropes. It's great fun. We'll then see one of the newer pieces that we've learnt uh, just last week, Crux of Delis by King John IV of Portugal. Maybe it's by King John IV, but we do know it's a great piece. Then we'll sing Vias Tours by Juarez, one of the key pieces in our choral alphabet series, which of course finished there in January. We'll then sing Trade Winds by Frederick Keel, which was recorded for us by Liz from Norfolk, and she is here today in the chat, and we shall sing along with her. Before we then go back in time to sing Out From The Deep with Thomas Tallis, we'll have a little bit of Handel and a bit of a Baroque finish for our uh, spring concert today because we will wrap up the concert with a quonium and cum sancto spirito from the vivaldi gloria and if you look at that list you think gosh that's quite a lot of pieces but it's nothing when you actually look at the full list of everything that we have put out from the beginning of january to this point the end of march in under three months we have learnt the following <gasps> deep breath We've learnt Vias to us by Juarez, Let's Face the Music and Dance, Old Dan Tucker, Come Merry Lads, Hell Poetry, Sepulto Domino, Come On Get Happy, The Minstrel Boy, Don't Worry Be Happy, One More Day, Donald, Where's Your Chuzos, Can She Excuse My Wrongs, The Merciful Goodness, I Can See Clearly Now, Trade Winds, Out From The Deep, Sourwood Mountain, Michael Rowe, The Boat Ashore, Bushes and Briars, Rise Up, Couldn't Keep It To Myself, Quicks for Dillis, and a small matter of the entire Vivaldi Gloria, plus you have the road trip to the Wirral and our fourth birthday special. So it's been a busy three months and so much music uh, that we've put out into the world, and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've missed any of these pieces, they're here, saved for you on YouTube. Just put in the name of the piece and home choir remember all one word and it'll take you straight to the broadcast where we taught it and you can enjoy filling in the any little gaps in your knowledge and frankly if you've seen it all well do feel free to go back and watch any of the streams as they are there for you and useful revision. Now, in terms of what's coming up, we've got a brilliant set of shows for you over the Easter period whilst we're off the air. We've got a Music for Good Friday broadcast going out, oddly enough, this Friday at 2pm, and it is absolutely lovely. Gosh, we've got hailstones coming down outside now. Well, the Music for Good Friday is exactly what you'd expect. We've got some rather beautiful, rather mournful pieces, the Pergolesi Stabat Mater first movement, for example. We've got Lottie's Crucifixus, we've got the Sepulto Domino by Zelenka and more. So do come and sing with us on Friday and then an absolutely packed programme to get us, get us well and truly into April. We've got some beautiful music for Easter Sunday and then Wednesday next week. This time next week you'll be enjoying a special concert called Classical Wonders which is all performed by Home Choir. Some of our favourite pieces that we've recorded throughout the years including the Conte de Jean Racine, our recent recording of Jamie Hall's Onata Looks and much, much more. You'll have a rerun of our Mango Mango show a week on Friday. And then when we're back, so on the 8th of April, we're back with There's No Place Like Home for our Folk Monday. We're then going to have a revision session for our upcoming Sing and Send project, which is kicking off in just a few weeks' time. So we're going to revise Shoshone Love Song, Peace I Live With You and Leave Her Johnny. And then a couple of weeks Friday, one of my favourite bits of Calypso, Jump in the Line, otherwise known as Shake, 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 Sinara. Shake your body line, that great, great song made famous by Harry Belafonte. 
So don't forget also tonight we've got the Sing for Happiness project. As I've been saying, details of that are in your newsletter, but you must be a subscriber to the newsletter to take part. The optional links are there as well to take part in the academic study. But the music tonight is great fun. As I've already said, Walking on Sunshine and Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol. And do you know how I can tell that Walking on Sunshine is going to be an earworm? Just from having written out the words... The song was playing in my head all night. I hadn't taught a line of it yet. I haven't listened to the recording. I had just very quickly to check they work. It's such an earworm, such a catchy piece and such a great song to sing at this time of year. So come along tonight, 7 o'clock, for Sing for Happiness, episode 2. Now, as you can see, we have been very, very busy on behalf of the Home Choir community since the beginning of January. I want to thank everyone for watching along with us, for singing along and for enjoying yourselves. We've been really focusing on happiness over the last three months. Now, if you've enjoyed it and you would like to say thank you and buy us an Easter egg, well, you can do so by going to homechoir.org donate as we are 100% supported by your donations. We want Home Choir to remain free to the world. So if you are able to support us, that's how you do it. And thank you if you are already a Home Choir supporter. And of course, that newsletter, which I've mentioned several times already, it is absolutely the most important thing you need in order to be in this Home Choir community. It is free. You just go along to our website, click sign up, and then fill in the very short form. And if you do, we will send you a beautiful email once a week with all of the links, all the news, and anything else that you need to know in order to be a member of Home Choir. And if you tell us when your birthday is, we'll sing you happy birthday when your big day rolls around. And because we're going to be off the air, at least in terms of live streams, for about a week and a half, well, we, let's just say we've got a bit of a list. And... Um, as you can see here, it's quite a substantial list of all of these lovely people who are celebrating their birthdays between now and when we go back on the air. In fact, as I was typing it out, it just seemed to get longer and longer. So this is a new one, everyone. Two columns. Two columns of birthdays. And so we are going to sing happy birthday in a moment for Julia, for Alina, for Glennis, for uh, Eddie, for Kathy, for Sandy, for Angela, for Celine Christelle, for Lauren, for Mike, for Paula, for Vali, for Sean, for Amanda, for Nick, for Eleanor, and for Lisa. That is a substantial list, and I hope you all enjoy your birthdays when they come over the next week and a half. And uh, I have, in order to facilitate this, I've been waiting to do this for a long time. You're, you're aware that we have a special version of Happy Birthday, which we recorded as a community, but we only left enough space in that for two, sometimes three names, if I sing quickly. So I have cut the piece in half and made a special mix and I'm going to see if this works. This is a new one. We're going to sing this all together with the recording. But let's see if we can actually make this work. So this is the extended version, everyone, of Happy Birthday to all of these dear people from all around the world. And we're going to sing together after two. Nice deep breath. Here we go. One, two. Happy Birthday to you. Sandy, Angela, Celine, Christelle, Lauren, Mike, Paula, Belay, Sean, Amanda, Nick, Eleanor, and Lisa. Happy birthday to you and many, many happy returns of the day to all of you when your birthdays roll around. And I have to say a little side note: I'm so glad that worked. <laughs> there we go. Fabulous, 17 people celebrating their birthdays. And this is just such a great reflection of how many people we have subscribed to this magnificent channel of ours. And I do hope you enjoy your special day. So we're going to go full screen. I'd just like to uh, point out, for those of you who haven't, haven't already noticed, because it was kind of tucked away, uh, we're joined in the studio by, uh, by a new addition. So you can see here, I have a lovely little pot plant, which was gifted to me by my singing student, Martin. And you'll all be aware, of course, Martin sat a singing exam uh, a few weeks ago. And we wished him well. Well, I can reveal that he not only passed his exam, he got an excellent merit. He did really, really well. And so he very kindly bought me this rather lovely little potted plant. And he's got uh, the plant has got some excellent gardeners looking after it because Handel, Haydn and Mozart are all tending our little potted plant friend. So there we are. Now we're going to kick off today with one of the uh, one of the pieces that we finished off the choral alphabet with. And of course, the choral alphabet was a project that 
sounded like a good idea at the time, but actually turned it into one of the more satisfying and enjoyable uh, programs that we've put out here on the channel, full stop. 26 programs teaching you 26 pieces from across the wealth of choral music with the only rule that each piece, the composer's name, had to start with the next consecutive letter of the alphabet. Quite easy to start with A and B. Harder, as it turns out, when we get to X, Y and Z, particularly as we needed the works to be out of copyright so we could share the music. So I was very relieved to find Come Merry Lads by Henry Yule. This is about as typical a madrigal as you'll ever find. And I have created this new version down from the original key in F. I've put it in C major so we can all sing it together. So let's enjoy together Come Merry Lads by Henry Yule to start our concert. Here we go. Band. Come merry lads, let us away, let us away for he everyone a good full-throated madrigalian sing to start off our spring concert again this is a piece that you won't find anywhere else except here on home choir certainly not in that register it is a custom arrangement for us and it is great to be singing something so uplifting and to say full of all of those madrigalian tropes you've got fala lying you've got nymphs you've got virgins you've got bagpipes i actually just just want to share with you all as you all know i was in edinburgh recently conducting Mozart's Requiem and I had uh, a few hours to wander around beautiful beautiful city walked up and down the Royal Mile admired the architecture um, passively smoked about 10 cigarettes because goodness me people like to smoke along the Royal Mile and saw perhaps one of the most um, heart-rending and also hilarious things I've seen in Scotland because you'd expect people there to be used to the sound of bagpipes walking up and down the Royal Mile there was a young lady piper who was standing in the doorway of the uh, now sadly defunct Debenham store with her pipes and uh, as I walked past she sort of got got ready and she took a nice deep breath filled the bag and off she went with this really really broad uh, bagpipe drone and there was a dear old lady walking the other, other way, full twin set and pearls, you know, she was absolutely um, resplendent. And as she walked past, the bagpipes started up and she just went, oh, <laughs> like that. And I just thought, therein is the, uh, is the essential dichotomy, really, of the bagpipes, um, that they are beloved and a national instrument, but that there's, there's an element of distance. Almost the further away they are, the nicer they sound. So there we go, everyone. That is our first piece of our programme today. We're now going to bring it kind of bang up to date in terms of pieces that we've learnt with Crux Fidelis. This is by, apparently, 
John the Fourth of Portugal. I say apparently because if you listen to the musical stylings, you listen to the harmonies, the voice leading, everything else, it doesn't sound like it was written in the first half of the 17th century, which is when John the Fourth of Portugal, to whom this piece is attributed, was alive. There are theories that this was actually written by a 19th century composer and attributed it to John the Fourth of Portugal to give it a little bit more, um, well, a little bit more class. But actually, it's a really nice little piece and it's perfect for this time of year. So Crux Fidelis is our next piece here, everyone. And let's sing this beautiful early Baroque style. Here we go. There you are, everyone. Beautiful piece, Crux Fidelis by John the Fourth of Portugal. And I first sang that piece from a book called European Sacred Music, which is up there on the shelves. Some of you might have a copy of it at home. And uh, given that these are all public domain pieces, I'm thinking we might do a few more pieces from that volume. And you never know, OUP might decide to sponsor the show after that. That might be nice, mightn't it? OK, so we're now going to sing another piece from our Choral Alphabet series. This one was the one I think I had most people guessing, because, as I say, A, B, C, it's quite easy to find composers out of copyright whose surnames begin with those letters, but X. And so I was beyond thrilled to discover the Spanish composer Juarez, whose beautiful setting of Vias to Us we adapted and made into an SATB arrangement. And I have to say, I really enjoyed not just arranging this for you, but then recording it, because it is another piece of Baroque sublimity. It really is. So we start here in B flat minor. And remember, this is a piece you can only get on home choir. This is for us to us. Here we go. V
everybody. A beautiful piece that you can only sing, and certainly at that pitch, here on Home Choir. Viesturus by Juanis. And if you're interested in any more of the Choral Alphabet, well, you can find a special playlist right here on YouTube with all 26 episodes, plus a couple of the specials where we combined all of them into special concerts just for you. Now, uh, we're going to bring it a little bit more up to date into the 20th century with a fabulous setting of a poem by John Macefield. This one is called Trade Winds, and this one began as one of our Behind the Sofa series, which is one of my genuinely favourite things to do here on Home Choir, where members of the community, that is you, send us little a cappella recordings of you singing one of your favourite pieces. And what we do is we add instruments, sometimes a bit of harmony, but we always put your song front and centre to showcase your fabulous singing. And this was sent in to us by Liz from Norfolk. And I have to say, I really enjoyed working on this one. Not only did she send us in the full song, she sent in the sheet music, she sent in a, a, a set of lyrics. You know, the, the research that went along with this one was extensive and it was really has turned into one of my favourite pieces that we've learnt recently. So let's enjoy Trade Winds by Frederick Keel and the lead singer is Liz. Here we go. In the harbour, in the island, in the Spanish seas, all the tiny white houses and the orange trees, and day long nights long, the cool and pleasant breeze of the sturdy trail. Everyone, can we have a round of applause, please, for Liz? Not just for singing that so beautifully, a cappella, I have to add, but for sending it in to us for all of us to enjoy. Really, really appreciate that, Liz. And good luck, everyone, getting that one out of your head for the rest of the day, at least until we learn Walking on Sunshine later on. Speaking of which, the home choir effect is fully in, well, in demonstration out here. We've got sunshine. We had hail and overcast skies about 10 minutes ago another sun shining it must have been your singing Liz fabulous now we're going to um, we're going to sing a piece by Thomas Tallis no not if you love me no not spare allium one of his other anthems this one is called out from the deep and we learnt this one just a couple of weeks ago uh, great great fun piece to learn quite stirring uh, quite majestic and uh, I really hope that you enjoyed learning it. And if you haven't had a chance to learn it, well, the teaching, as always, is saved for you here on the channel. Just type in Out From The Deep Home Choir. If you can't manage that, just type Talis Home Choir, and you'll find the teaching for this and more besides. But everyone, something nice and stirring here is Out From The Deep.
there we are, everyone. Out from the deep. Notice not out of the deep, but out from the deep. Different words and a very different setting. He did actually set out of the deep as well, though it is for more parts and is longer. And those people in the live chat who are saying, wouldn't it be great if Home Choir could teach Spem in Allium, the 40-part motet? Well, as someone has already said, that will be Wednesday sorted for a full year. It would be quite the project. One to consider, perhaps, for future years, but uh, that would be quite a task, wouldn't it? Cheers. So now we're going to bring it forwards a little bit in terms of time to the late Baroque, and we're going to have a piece of music by probably, I would say, certainly not, uh, maybe our favourite composer here on the channel. He's definitely up there. He's so popular that he's over my shoulder here in every broadcast. Something by Handel. And I always am looking out for not necessarily the biggest, loudest, shoutiest movements by Handel. It's usually the ones with the lovely crunchy chords, the slow movements, the more dolorous sounding, because for me, that is where Handel is at his best. And so this is a piece called The Merciful Goodness. It comes from the funeral music for Queen Caroline, and it is absolutely lovely. And we learnt this one a few weeks ago, we did learn a lot of music this term, didn't we? So let's enjoy together with some lovely crunchy moments, the merciful goodness. <laughs>
as I say, Handel, I mean, he writes such wonderful, explosive uh, pieces such as the Hallelujah Chorus. Mozart said, you know, he, he goes off like a firework when he needs to, but for me, it's the slow, sad movements with all of the beautiful clashes that that's what really stirs my soul. So it's great to sing that with all of you. Now to wrap up our concert today, well, we can't have a roundup of our term from January without mentioning the Vivaldi Gloria. Now it's a piece that in many ways has been running for as long as the channel has been here. For much of the last four years, we have occasionally dipped in and we've certainly sung several of the movements over and over and over again. We taught Et in Terra Pax in something like, would have been week five of the channel back in 2020 in lockdown. And we'd learned a couple more throughout the years, but I decided, largely inspired by a workshop that I was running uh, just a few weeks ago here in the West Country, to finish teaching the Vivaldi Gloria. So we filled in all the gaps, and I'm sure you will all have seen the full Vivaldi Gloria performance that we here in Patchray Cathedral put out just a couple of weeks ago. So to wrap up our spring concert, we're going to have the last two movements of the Gloria, the Quonium to Solus Sanctus, which is a tiny little jewel under a minute long, and then the fabulous fun fugue from the end, Cum Sancto Spiritus. So everyone, score on screen, do sit up and enjoy, particularly this Quonium, which has a really, really difficult set of pitches for everyone. <clears throat> Here we go.
So much fun, so much beautiful, beautiful Baroque music. And of course, taught in its entirety here on Home Choir, free for the world to enjoy. So everyone, I really hope you've enjoyed our term. As you can see, we've covered a huge range of music. And that's to say nothing of all of the folk songs, all the pop songs, all of the happiness that we have put out through this Home Choir for all of you to enjoy. So if you have enjoyed it, please do remember the thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Do send our broadcasts out to people you think could do with a smile and a song, as that is what we're all about. Now we are going to be broadcasting of course throughout the next week and a half but they won't be live streams, they will be special concerts which we've crafted for you and of course a little rerun of the Mango Mango session which was particularly good fun and so do come along and chat throughout those, do again enjoy the broadcasts and sing along and I will see you back here live on April the 8th at 11am for a Folk Monday uh, spearheaded by There's No Place Like Home. So, again, hope you've enjoyed it. Well, actually, you might say There's No Place Like Home Choir, eh? So, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, now, I will see many of you, if not all of you, if you're subscribed to the uh, happiness session later tonight, as we shall be chasing cars and walking on sunshine. But otherwise, I will see you all back very, very soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye, folks. <laughs>